Lord has so much mercy and forgiveness. He has love that none of us could ever understand. And the greatest of these is love. I don't care if people say love is love. How can it be? How can love be love if it's not of God? That's something that needs to be explained better. Also, the Bible says, if your name is not found written in the book of life, you'll be cast into a lake of fire. The Bible says in Matthew 13, 41 through 43, that son of man shall send forth his angels and shall gather out, out of his kingdom all things that offend and them that do iniquity and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. They shall be waiting and gnashing of teeth. In Matthew 13, 41, 42, the Bible says, if you have an ear, you hear the word of God, my friends. Repent, LA, before it's too late. Uh, the Bible says in Acts 3.19, Repent and be converted so your sins may be blotted out. For time so refreshing has come into the presence of the Lord. The Bible says, Enter into the straight gate, for broad is the way and wide is the gate that leads to destruction. The Bible says many are going to go to hell. Where are you going to go, LA? The Bible says there's only heaven or hell. You, you go to hell or you go to hell. It's your choice. Jesus Christ leads to eternal life. The Bible says in Revelation 21, 8, but the fearful, the unbelieving, the abominable, the murderers, the whoremongers and idolaters and sorcerers and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death, my friends. Do not go to the second death. If you're righteous, you're only going to die once. But if you're wicked, you're only going to die twice. The Bible says in Psalms 9, 17, the wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forget God, America, cry out to Jesus Christ before it's too late. Cry out to Jesus. The Bible says in Luke 13, 3, unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Everyone will perish if they don't repent. Any person who refuses to repent of their sins, who refuses to trust in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is the glorious, beautiful gospel, there's only one way to heaven, and that's only through Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ can save your souls, my friends. Repent of your sins. Jesus Christ loves you, but you must receive him as your Lord and Savior. God bless you guys. Woo! Only a pure can find heaven. Matthew 7, 14 says that narrow is the way and difficult is the way that leads to life and only a pure can find it. Everybody's going to cry out to God one day. Dark place, but it's a place that needs to start crying out before it's too late. Yep. This isn't going to all last forever. All of this is going to go under. The Bible says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the, my words by no means shall remain forever. Matthew 24, 35. The Bible says, that there's only one mediator between God and man, and it's the man Christ Jesus. You could only go to heaven through Jesus Christ, not through your good works, not through religion, not through Joseph Smith, not through Buddha, not through Muhammad. Only through Jesus Christ, my friend, not through Scientology. Only Jesus saves. Jesus Christ can save you from all your sins, my friends. Flee the wrath of God. His wrath is coming. The Bible says that the Son of Man shall gather with his ten millions of his angels, taking vengeance on those who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ and who don't obey the gospel. Jesus Christ is going to punish the unrepentant sinners. If you do not repent of your sins, my friends, Jesus Christ is not going to come to die for you again. He's going to come in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know the Son of Man. You need to know Jesus Christ. You don't have to be destroyed. Why not be spared instead? He's not willing for any to perish, but to come to repentance. Amen. When we repent, it's not when we cry, it's when we truly change. When we finally realize what we have done is wrong and that we need to turn away from it. We need to be transformed. Romans 12, 2 makes it clear do not be conformed with this world, but be renewed. But by the renewing of your mind, 
need to be renewed of your mind. As much as I have a dislike for Los Angeles, which is a place I would love to leave for good, I have to be here for a reason, to share the gospel, to let you know that you don't have to be in darkness anymore. You don't have to be the way I was before. You can be set free. Pray out to God! And no matter how many times a preacher gets threatened, blessed are those of us who get persecuted. There's blessing for that. There will be a reward in the end. I don't care about your social status. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care about any of that. What I care about is the soul. Amen. Our soul. That's right. That's more precious than anything else. Jesus Christ, my friends. Everyone is Jesus Christ. Prepare the ball yourselves, my friends. Follow Jesus Christ and obey him. Jesus Christ says in John 14, 15, if you love me, you keep my commandments, Jesus said. Cry out to Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. You can die tonight. If you die without Christ, you're heading straight to hell. I don't like talking about hell, folks, but if you don't get it right with God, you, better, you either get it right right now or later. Everybody has a choice, my friends. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father yeah. except through Jesus Christ. Some people may be unfriendly. I must have been at that point one, one time in my life. I've been there. I Cry out to like Jesus. To Cry out to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus. You're being called, don't be the way I went. Start lighting up, start to light, light up a bit, and stop being so serious all the time and try to enjoy it. Try to have the fun in the world. Man! Life is not about just being all serious. Hallelujah! Never giving a smile. Doesn't really hurt giving a smile at least about five minutes of your life. I believe it is healthy to smile. Got a smile, folks. A smile for Jesus. Smile. Either you're unfriendly or you just are not comfortable. If you're not comfortable, I can understand. But if you don't want to be friendly, that's your choice. Jesus Christ, save your souls, my friends. Be nice or anything like that. Not Jesus Christ, nice save you. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me, Jesus. Says, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo! I'm, I'm feeling joy like a river, bro. Aye, the bus. You need Jesus, LA. You need Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ, my friends. Everyone walking in this bus stop in this in Hope Street and 9th Street has zero excuses on the day of judgment. I repeat again. If your name is not found written in the book of life, you'll be cast into the outer darkness where there's wailing and gnashing of teeth. Hell's a scary place. But you could be saved today, my friends, if you receive Jesus Christ. Receive Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you shall be saved, you and your household. Romans 10, 13. Oh. Whoa, whoa. We're here waiting for the bus. We're here waiting for the bus. We just did a little bit of preaching for a few minutes and um, yeah, we shall be fine. Yeah. Uh, God bless you guys and uh, take care, please. Keep us in prayer for we're on this trip that's coming up tomorrow. Keep us in prayer. That works out, that it goes according to plan. May God's will be done. May God use us greatly. And may God have favor on the people of Arizona. God bless you guys. Jesus Christ can save you guys, my friends. Repent of your sins and follow Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the